Well, LLA, Link Layer Authentication. It is a security feature that is implemented on a radio system. It is there to uh, help verify the end user. There's two components to LLA. There's unit authentication and mutual authentication. Unit authentication is when the system is trying to validate the user and mutual authentication is when the user is trying to validate the system. So LLA in layman's terms um, is the security of an individual. So you know the authentication of that individual and it can only be that. So we knew when that police officer, that firefighter, uh, that paramedic was keying up or, or transmitting on the radio system, it was them and them only. Without this feature, some rogue person could, could spoof a radio and that radio could transmit on our network and it looks like that it's that firefighter police officer or paramedic transmitting when it would not be. They could declare emergencies. They could, they could really cause some real you know, public safety issues on our network. By implementing LLA, it's, it's, we know that that's the only individual radio keying up on the network because it's the only one that has uh, the keys. So when you think of link layer authentication, you can almost equate it to two-factor authentication in the computer world. We want to challenge that radio that's trying to affiliate with our networks to say, are you really who you say you are? When you think about cyber and people don't think about radio networks, well, a trunk radio system is nothing but a large computer network that has a radio attached to it. And we need to verify that those people that are accessing that network are actually authorized to be on that network. Would I recommend LLA to be implemented by another agency? Absolutely, thousand percent. Like it, it's uh, really the only thing you can do to, to to protect the integrity of the units. We need to be, you know, on the front line doing everything we can to protect our public safety users as well as our infrastructure, because that's our job. And I think that going forward, you're gonna find most agencies, once they learn about the benefits of LLA, are going to require that. One of my things since learning about LLA is why aren't we doing it? Why, why aren't you doing LLA? It's relatively easy to implement. The problems that we run into are when we try to be interoperable. However, work is ongoing today to overcome those problems and solve those problems. And once that happens, it'll become significantly easier to do it across jurisdictional boundaries and system boundaries. The thing I would say is, I mean, don't be afraid of it. Um, there, there's several of us users that have implemented. And reach out to us. I mean, and understand, you know, what the, what the pros and cons are, how to do it, and, and get it on the roadmap. It took us a few years to work through it all and get it implemented. But I think that's the key. It needs to be in your plan, and I think it should be in your five-year plan to try to work on a way to get it implemented to protect your network.